Hi there, thank you for watching the video. In this video, I'm going to explain the modifications needed when you fit an air suspension to an Audi B8 model. Depending on which setup you buy, different routes that you're going to do. So I'm going to talk you through it on this particular setup. Hope you enjoy the video. Thank you. Right in this first picture, you can see that I've got the system laid out on an MDF board. Got the tank, the module, the pump, and the relay. And what I did was I had the system running here first before I connected the pipes to the airbags themselves. So I made sure that there was no leaks in the tank and it was holding pressure. Once I was happy with this, then I can move on to the next stage. So we're at the rear of the vehicle now, and this is where the rear coil spring would sit. I've cut away the notch on the rubber where the spring would sit against, allowing my airbag to sit on top of it and locate inside it so it won't move around. A lot of people do remove these, but in my case, the bolt I was given with the bracket wasn't long enough to fix it in place. So I've used this so the airbag itself can't move around. Once you've cut away the rubber, you're going to need then to cut a hole in the car. Not a very big hole, but a little doorway I call it. Just so you're able to feed the airline directly on top of the airbag itself. You'll see there's a circle hole. There is a grommet there. You take it out, feed the pipe through the grommet, and then feed it directly on top of the airbag itself, as you can see in the picture. And then once you've done that, you can seal the hole back up. What I did was I left it open for a while until I had the car finished. I run the system up, make sure there's no leaks. Then I sealed the hole up then. Moving on to the front now. As you can see in this picture, we have a airbag strut and the standard strut next to each other. The new one is fitted with a pillow ball mount as the Audi came with a top rubber mount which is fixed so you're going to take the standard strut apart and then on the aluminium bracket you're going to see a collar in the center of it you need to remove that once that's been removed you need to drill four holes which then locate on top of the pillow ball mount themselves and then fix it together once you're happy with that you can then refit the strut to the car and that should be it Thank you for watching. Hope it helps.